Well, hello the new, Tony Wheel and the Dwells, broadcasting as usual from here in the Giggle Mill in Haslingdon, north of Manchester in the UK. Those of you in the know will know that um, Studio B in the Giggle Mill is state of the art. In fact, we invented IMAX and 3D many years ago. Um, and um, so watch out for the wondrous special effects and there are lots of them but you've got to be quick uh, uh, but um, today we have a, a slightly politically incorrect tale uh, about um, a little village in Ireland called Bally Go Backwards very famous uh, Irish little village and uh, in this uh, tale oh, oh. Oh, 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 when Mr. Brezhnev was in charge and um, Ballygo Backwards at the town meeting they decided they'd had enough of all this business this Cold War and they set about uh, organising to, to uh, declare war on Russia so they got uh, Paddy O'Flaherty and authorised him to head for Moscow and tell Mr. Brezhnev that war had broken out between them. So um, he set off by train and by plane and by boat and by river, and by canoe, on foot, donkey, oh, every conceivable way, he even hitchhiked some of the way. Anyway, he got into Moscow just as the uh, snow was beginning to fall so he was <laughs> a bit cold by the time he met Mr Brezhnev so Mr Brezhnev says you are shaking why are you shaking so he said well I am cold sure he says I'm cold he said uh, what can I do for you so Paddy says um, fairly he says sure enough he says I'm I'm the uh, spokesperson for for a bally go backwards council. So Mr. Brezhnev says, I've never heard of, I have not heard of this bally go backwards. What is this place? So he says, sure enough, he said, it's a famous place in Ireland. He said, oh, what a village, he said. So Mr. Brezhnev said, uh, you want to declare war on Russia, the whole of Russia? How big is your army and, and uh, uh, how many ships have you got? So he says, well, with three motorboats, he says, and uh, with 12 policemen. So Mr. Brezhnev looked at him and he says, you must be crazy. He said, uh, we have 25 million in the army alone. And that's without the Navy or the Air Force. So Paddy has to think about it for a moment, he says. Sure, he says, the war's off. So Mr. Brezhnev said, I thought so. The odds are too great. Oh, sure, no, he says, it's not that. He says, how could we handle that many prisoners of war? Thank you, and good night, folks. <laughs> 